in the world can we stand in the shadow of a blood-stained cross and not at least do the bare minimum that God asks us to do? First hence present goes to God. Now, I know the arguments. I know the arguments. Well, Perry, tithing is Old Testament law. I, if you're here tonight, you're that person. I'm glad you're here. T two things about you that that tells me. Number one, you're stupid. <laughs> Number two, you don't read your Bible. You don't want to play the Bible game with me on this subject. You don't read your Bible. The law, it's not the law of the first fruits, it's the principle of the first fruits. And the principle of the first fruits actually takes place in Genesis chapter 4, where Cain and Abel brought the offering. Cain brought some, but Abel brought the first fruits, and therefore the principle is established. If you want to get technical, tithing was actually established 450 years before the law was written in Genesis chapter 14, when Abraham tithed to Melchizedek. 50 years later, Jacob in Genesis chapter 28 told God, I will give you a tenth of all that I own. All through the scripture, God said the, God said, the first fruits belong to me. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, God says, bring the tithe. Don't give it, but bring the tithe. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, many of us know that verse. It's seek what? Seek first the kingdom of God. I want you to know something that you've never heard in church. That verse is about money. We've ripped that verse out of context and put it on t-shirts, but you read that verse in the context. Verses 19 through 24, Jesus is talking about money, and in verse 25, Jesus says, do not worry, which by the way, the reason he's telling us not to worry is because he provides food and clothes which we need money to provide for, but which we need money for. Jesus is talking about money. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, when he says, seek first, he is affirming what happened all the way back in Genesis chapter 4, where Abel brought the first fruits. It's in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. It's in Matthew chapter 23 verse 23 where Jesus says we should tithe. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 1 and 2 where Paul alludes to the tithe. It's in Hebrews chapter 7 where the author of Hebrews talks about the tithe. It's not just Old Testament law. It is for us all. The first 10% off of our income belongs to God. It's his. It's his. Now, here's the thing we've all got to understand. I didn't say this this morning. In Exodus chapter 13, God said the firstborn's mine. And then the Passover took place. And the people did not, did not put the blood over the doorframe and said, I'm not going to consecrate my, my son to you. What happened to that son in that house? He got killed. You're going to either give your 10% to God or he's going to take it. The Bible says God will not be mocked. For some of you, there's a reason your car keeps breaking down. There's a reason you can't get your kid out of the doctor's office. There's a reason you can't keep a job. You're trying to mock God. 